Welcome back, super friends and super family. I'm Nick, and today I'm reacting to Friends Season 6, Episodes 21 and 22. So, we are approaching the end of the sixth season so far. The end of the downfall of Ross. We've had a lot of really entertaining episodes lately. I'm excited to see how we build up towards the season finale. As always, if you want to watch along the full unedited reactions, that is up on Patreon. That is the best way to support the channel. Thank you so much to everyone who does. Let's just get right into it. Friends, season six, episodes 21 and 22. <laughs> is going to give you a gift. But the 12th brings a lover's spat. You're right oh, dang. about my special present. Why would you do that? We're arguing in the future here. A secret crush announces itself. <laughs> <laughs> Joey Tribbiani of Mac and Cheese! <laughs> the star himself. First day, so are you psyched to fight fake crime with your robot sidekick? You better be. I've dreamed about this for years. Why have I not been preparing? <laughs> I can't even use Chandler's computer so, to find porn because it's right there when you turn it on. <laughs> I think our lover's spat will start a little early this month. <laughs> I'll be waiting. Oh, baby, baby. That was a great reaction shot from Monica right there. Good expression. You never know what's going on in Phoebe's mind. You may think you know, but at the end of the day, no one really knows. Not even Phoebe herself. I hope Joey stays as the lead of this show for a long time. Mac and cheese needs to be number one in the ratings. Are you judging them by their covers? Because you're really not supposed to do that. I mean, as the saying goes. I'm going to start writing another book. Uh, oh, nice. Because the last one was such a big seller. What was the last one? I want to read it. You must know I have written 14 books. And That's a lot. That they have all been very well received. <laughs> Facts, facts. And what are you guys doing later? Oh, Rachel and I have appointments to get our hair cut. But we'll cancel it to hang out with you, Ross. I want to see what he wants first. Oh. Elizabeth's dad wants to meet me. I really want this guy to like me. It, it would really help. How old is her dad? You know how tough those parent-teacher conferences can be? <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, when do I get to meet the robot? Uh, I'm sorry, why don't we do that right now? He's right here. Okay. Who's playing the robot? Wow. He's so lifelike. Joey, you cannot think this. What do you, do you know what year we're living in? Cheese is right here. <laughs> I just thought it was going to be like a really cool robot, like the Terminator, or uh, when I first saw you. <laughs> Spent two years developing this machine. It's absolutely state of the art. Oh, dang. Oh, it doesn't really look like it can do anything. You can do this. <laughs> Could be challenging, I wonder as an actor. <laughs> this is my father. What a... I usually prefer Liz's boyfriends who address me as Mr. Stevens. <laughs> so, Ross, what's your problem? <laughs> Wait, excuse me? Why can't you get a girlfriend your own age? Ooh, ooh, right to the point. It's funny. Is it though? Is it? Um, one chance. I, I can change your mind. Okay. What? Okay. You get a chance. You got one minute. <laughs> what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Go. <laughs> He's serious, trust me. He's serious. I mean, I mean I've been in um, relationships in general, uh, but- I've been married a couple of times, let's not- I mean, I don't- we haven't done it. Uh, we- I mean- <laughs> You've done stuff, but I- Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Ross. Two guys go into a bar. One of them's Irish. I'm Irish. The Irish guy wins the joke. <laughs> okay, that's actually a pretty good joke. Crazy that we'd run into you. Oh my god, thank you. Oh. He needs them, he needs them. You're Elizabeth's father. You can see now where she gets her rugged handsomeness. <laughs> A, a Mrs. Stevens? Chandler's like, There's a Mr. Uh... Bing. <laughs> Raised her by myself. Oh. I get that a lot. I mean, of course, you're Bruce Willis. You guys can talk about whatever, whatever you want. You know, whatever pops in. About how wonderful and strong Ross Strange is. Strange seeing Ross. Usually, well, he's at the children's hospital. 
Yeah. Or working out. Not looking for dates. <laughs> Phoebe thinks she's helping. <laughs> Your roommate in college died, didn't he? A part of him did, yes. A part of him. I am ready, ready to talk you up. <laughs> what is Liz? Rachel. I'm already here. Oh, Ross is so great. <laughs> How do you recover from that? You can't, really. The little girl creeps me out. The baby. Why would the baby creep me out? Is this cow's a lover spat? This is going in your book? It's about relationships. You know, the traps, the pitfalls, what not to do. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. <laughs> yeah, don't fight over nothing. People will believe anything you tell them as long as it's a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of truth in that. Hi. 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 I left my keys here somewhere. Oh, well, let's look for them. Are they setting them up? Are we gonna put this situation? No. Are? Oh. <laughs> Rachel, really? You just put them back like that? Ross really is a great guy. Maybe you could date him then. That would save me the trouble of killing him. We were very young when we had her. We? And yeah, it usually takes yeah, two. Yeah, it takes two. <laughs> We or are you just you? <laughs> I'm just I'm me. just me. So you raised her all on your own? Yes, I did. Oh. <laughs> Plus ten points. Damn those robots! They're supposed to be our faithful servants. <laughs> no, for, not for long, Chandler. Cheese knock over the sandwich table right when I was reaching for one. Oh. <laughs> just get him fired. I may have to. Uh, let's slow things down, slow things down. There's a limit to how many sandwiches I can eat off the floor. <laughs> Is there? I don't think that's true. Joey Tribbiani. <laughs> Joe! I'm glad... The actor who has the part. It's a lead in a series. Mac and G. Oh my gosh, no, no, no. He's almost gonna get fired. I'm the lead in Mac and G. Uh-oh. <laughs> I mean, at least he found out. Don't get fired, please. You just got this. Hi, Ross. <laughs> Was just getting him to like you. <laughs> I mean, Ross, it actually might work. Joey! I'm not here. I'll just wait for him in here. Don't do that. Mr. Stevens. <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't even see you. Hi. I'm going to call you later. Ross. <laughs> What? What? The, what? The, how did? How did? What? The, how did? What? <laughs> Bruce Willis. That's how and what. His keys. He was looking for them. In your mouth? No. You gotta look everywhere. I invited him up here for a cup of coffee. You were at the coffee house. Round two. I've had coffee after coffee. My girlfriend's father. You dated my sister. What? That was different. This is weird for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's actually accurate. It is different by definition. So far, the guy's not loving you, but I can turn that around. I got the inside track. True. Plus, the guy is a very successful lawyer. How is that important? Oh, it's important. <laughs> <laughs> On her end, it's important. <laughs> I didn't know you'd get me fired. What am I gonna do? Just be cool, have a... You've got to win over the guy who controls Chi. Yes. Kiss some serious robot ass. <laughs> This is good advice. Yeah, okay, but if I gotta turn on the charm tomorrow, I'm not wasting any more of it over here with you guys. <laughs> you gotta save it up as a finite resource. Good for you, Phoebe. <laughs> <laughs> Phoebe loved that. <laughs> Joey's more charming than me. That's why I'm sleeping with him on the side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chandler, don't actually get insecure. Stop writing about us. I'm writing about other people. I would feel a little judged. Marsha and Chester. <laughs> Phyllis is sitting in the chair. See what you're doing. Phyllis sees what I'm doing. <laughs> I have tasted my own medicine and it is bitter. <laughs> How's my favorite genius and his little robot buddy? Don't, don't touch him. Okay. Don't try too hard. Just be natural, cool, Joey. I love, I love this little guy. <laughs> Okay. Joey. You want me to touch him? Right, there you go. <laughs> I swear, Joey better not lose this. Hey, how you doing? Is that gonna help? Hopefully. So Ross was in college, decided to jump at the chance to take a young girl to a high school. Oh no, oh no. Definitely did not see that one backfiring. 
at it either, to be honest. I know I've been giving you a lot of jabs, and partly because, well, they just keep coming to me. <laughs> You're not all bad. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Still look at Lizzie like she's a 12 year old girl. I do that too. Don't say that. What are you talking about? I beg your pardon. No, no, I'm not. Uh... What did you even mean? I have a son who's. Uh... Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Carol and I are on excellent terms. Sure, you are with your wife. <laughs> you passed away. <laughs> you passed away. Ross, oh my gosh. Didn't realize you were married. We were, but that was just a. <laughs> Oh, 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 I mean, that was just a oh, big, oh, drunken oh, no, mistake. No. <laughs> You're back. <laughs> you two were married. <laughs> oh, whoops, I'm sorry, you were talking about Emily. Okay. <laughs> oh. Rachel, you just murdered him. You just murdered him. And it was amazing. Not at six. Seven. Actually, I know what time Chester and Marcia said. Okay, well, what time? What time? I'm guessing it was six. Only it's my book to the rescue, huh? <laughs> well, rescue of one side, not the other. I will tell you as soon as you thank me for writing my book. Does she even know, or is this a bluff? You are the queen of everything. So are you. <laughs> BB Savage. Told you I should not wear this color. <laughs> I think he's cursed. You knew we were gonna miss the movie? Marcia and Chester are mad at Phyllis. <laughs> Come on, Phoebe. <laughs> Come on. You could write a book and still be cool. Help me get this mini fridge past the security guard. <laughs> that would be tough, right? I hate you. You ruined my life. Oh, Chandler Wayne, Wayne Hi. Chandler. <laughs> Get you your job back if you help me out. Why should I help you out? Just... The reason he just said. <laughs> yeah, come on, Joey, come on. Stage talking to that beautiful woman, you know, Sarah. What, he wants to go out with her? Not really something you can teach, you know? It's pretty much something you're born with. Joey. You can teach it, I'd show you right how. <laughs> come on, Joey, help him out. Ross did learn something from each marriage. What? How to make the next one even shorter. <laughs> <laughs> Now, wait a minute, that's not fair. I mean, he that's funny. Longer than he was married to Emily, he just didn't tell me. Maybe I have to pee again. <laughs> Rachel, I think it's time to go home. No, this is fun. <laughs> it is very fun. Did you kill any of these wives? <laughs> you know what, Daddy? If you don't like Ross, I'm gonna go out with him anyway. Really? Uh, is this the right angle? This doesn't make me like you any better. Yeah, I'm not so crazy about myself right now, either. Neither is like Ross. I like Ross. Oh, <laughs> kids. <laughs> hey, wait, I just thought of another story. No, no, don't say anything. We're not liking Ross right now. Oh, oh, I got a lot of those too. Oh, no, 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 Rachel, just please. Plead the fifth for the rest of the night. It's your line, cheese. <laughs> Come on, the robot's memory is failing. <laughs> hey. Oh, dang, oh, dang, wow. He learned quick. <laughs> He gave me three tickets and there are six of us. Oh, Give shoot. up my ticket, me too. Okay. It's so generous. And I think Ross is generous too. <laughs> That's just us girls. That's That's great. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Lesbian love scenes interspersed with video games and free sandwiches. Okay, okay. Phoebe's lying, obviously. Hey, Ross, listen. Chandler got you out of going to the Lesbian Sandwich Museum this week. <laughs> the Lesbian Sandwich Museum? Elizabeth and I are going out of town. Well, her father pays you for babysitting, right? Uh <laughs> <laughs> no, that's funny, but maybe it's time to move on. No. You know, let no. it go. These jokes are always good. I'm not the only one interested in fossils, huh? <laughs> I like it. I like it. Uh, well, uh, Rachel's gonna need to yell sweet nothings in his ear. Oh no, oh no. Oh, come on, you guys, that's funny, you know? Cause he's gonna need, he's got like a hearing oh, aid. this is just perfect. This is just perfect. Old. <laughs> <laughs> cry now, cry now. <laughs> Except the fact that you're going out with her. Okay, that's great. Yeah. But so I told Lizzie, now I'm telling you, I don't want you seeing my daughter anymore. Oh dang, really? I don't think there's really anything you can do about it. Uh and tell them about your relationship and have you fired. Oh, a man with a plan. <laughs> I mean, yeah. 
<laughs> what are you gonna do now? Like, I'm so glad Bruce Willis came back for another episode. I did not expect that. I thought it was cool enough having him last episode, but he's back. I also really didn't think uh, Ross and Elizabeth would be, you know, in more than one episode together. That's something I didn't expect as well. Where was Bruce Willis in his career at this point, you know? Was this... After, I'm assuming after the Sixth Sense, right? Because Sixth Sense is 90. And I think at this point we're late 90s. If I could put you next to Matt Lauer. Look at him just smiling at me. <laughs> Was Matt Lauer an actor or is he just from the news? Joey Tribbiani from The Wall. Mac and cheese. Fuck your memory, huh? <laughs> He's not going to want to put you back up. Show me in the TV book. It's not on TV yet. Well, then it's not on the wall yet. Okay, just wait a little bit, Joey. Do you have any of Matt Lauer's clothes here? Maybe? Ones that haven't been cleaned yet? <laughs> <laughs> the guy's non-reaction was amazing and Phoebe just leaving. Paul's taking me out to dinner tonight. He said he has a big surprise planned. Wow. Maybe he's gonna tell you he's gay? <laughs> Why? That would just be a really big surprise, right? I mean, that's true, but... <laughs> No, you could get married here. Mm -hmm. This would be a beautiful place to get married. Yeah. In the museum? You could have the ceremony under this big, beautiful arch. May I help you? <laughs> <laughs> do you do a lot of weddings here? There's a two-year waiting list. Sorry. <laughs> oh, dang. But you should totally put your name down for this place. Married? I'm, I'm not even engaged. No, that's not what she's talking about. What if you get engaged in two years? Uh... Chandler's not going to wait that long. He's going to find somebody else, you know, someone... someone well, I mean, I guess there is no harm in putting my name down. Yeah, why not? Don't feel too sorry for me. At least my boyfriend isn't gay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, her boyfriend's Bruce Wells. Who cares at that Even point? Even get me started on yours. <laughs> I don't understand. Like, Chandler is cool. All right, let's get me back up there. Well, he didn't like it? You don't go up on the wall. What's wrong? You don't think mac and cheese is funny? It was very offensive to my people. What? <laughs> mac and cheese? How? It showed them as terrorists and villains. Okay, okay, look. That's just like an action movie cliche, right? In, in Air Force One, the Russians were terrorists. I've never seen it. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, I'm sorry, Joey. It's okay. The paycheck will uh, soften that blow. This used to be my grandma's. Wow. This is nice. Not her actual eyeballs, but... I think she gets I think she gets it. Eye Make out. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Ross is just like a teenager, which I guess is fitting, right? Just thinking about your father. Oh, whatever works for you. No. no. <laughs> Dang, what a response. Threat protection, right? Why, are there like bears or something? <laughs> <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> I'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay. You what is going to happen? Oh, okay. Is the dad going to come or what? Or a bear? This is going to be like when Rachel like had all her clothes off, isn't it? Great surprise! This is such a beautiful house! Oh, oh. <laughs> what was that jump, Ross? <laughs> if she's still interested in having the Bing Geller wedding in our facility... Yes, the groom. No, not the groom! <laughs> what is he gonna think, though? Oops, sorry. She gonna see Ross. <laughs> <laughs> you see a little mouse. No, no, big bear! Big bear outside! <laughs> Would you go check on that? I cannot imagine, like, being on a date reaching under the sofa and seeing one of my friends like imagine that for a second really <laughs> run dude this is your chance get out get out get out there you go <laughs> shouldn't have wasted time you. bickering <laughs> i need ice thank you be right okay ross this is your only shot leave you and your eyes <laughs> What is he doing? Did you really hear a bear? Oh, go! <laughs> oh, look, Lisbeth's here! <laughs> Hide what you got! Hide what you got! How did you know we were here? Obviously, you saw the tire tracks that were leading up to the closed garage. Obviously, obviously. Is there any way they're getting away with this? I don't think so, right? What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> You, you know, go in that room and, 
then do your homework. That's your dad's bedroom. <laughs> Is there a window? Dad's bedroom! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Rachel's making up for the dinner. She's doing pretty good so far. I bought groceries. I was going to make you dinner. Well, next time, ask. Oh, Chandler, don't think that. Or at least wait for me to ask. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's going to know. She's going to know. I'm calling for Monica Geller. Oh, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> it is oh, please, available. he didn't hear it. He didn't hear it. <laughs> what do you think happened? This is Chandler being... <laughs> Two people who could get your picture up there. Well. Oh, she can decide? You're the other one, right? Okay, well, that could work, right? Not that we don't want you to stay. Obviously, you're welcome. How much more homework do you have? <laughs> Hurry up and leave Dad alone. One problem left that I do not know how to solve. <laughs> Come upstairs and help me figure it out. Since you're so good at math, Rachel. Get me something from the car. What do you need from the car? Surprise me. <laughs> Is that gonna work? <laughs> be upstairs and that's where everybody's gonna be. Ross, if you ever had a window, it's now. Oh no. <laughs> move, move, do something. Do something. Oh my gosh, the way Ross moved was so amazing. You know why? Because you're a... Star. Guy. <laughs> you are... Man. <laughs> Still got it. <laughs> I'm just a love machine. Oh, this is a Bruce Willis. I respect him so much more after this. <laughs> for your eyes only. Well, with a regular guy, it's bad. With Chandler, oh dear God. It's worse, yeah, yeah. What are you gonna do? Well, I'm never going to listen to you again, that's for sure. I don't blame Phoebe. I'm gonna do is you know, you put your name down. <laughs> Rachel said that. Well, Rachel's not here. <laughs> Billy, why did you sign it, son of a bitch? What the? Did the date go badly? Who would have done that? Son of a bitch. Oh. He did that. What did he do? He went out with my wife. Oh, 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 I, hey, I did. I should have thought of that. Okay, I, I went out with her. That's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should go by the mile. How much one? Well, we should go. Yeah. What is he saying? I wish I knew. Someone give me a translation, please. Ross? Did he make it out? Oh. Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> what are you in Saw 2, bro? <laughs> Hurry up! Oh my gosh. Oh my god, Ross! We cannot see each other anymore. <laughs> no. He's not falling for this. Daddy, uh, You're next! Okay, I didn't know he was here. <laughs> Please, Paul, just let me explain. No, let me explain! Fired! Oof. I, too, am a neat guy. <laughs> 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 Is that enough blackmail? What? Oh, he's gonna play denial. I'm just a love machine. Yeah, you know you're defeated. <laughs> Bruce Willis knows Unagi. Let me show you where the guest room is. And just like that, you're part of the family. Well played. You had a great conclusion to that storyline, man. Please stop freaking out. I'm not freaking out. Oh, okay. And I, I just put our names down for fun. I mean, what's the harm in that? Say it was a two-year wait list. It was a mistake. Please don't take this to mean anything. Yeah, come on. Okay. Is that really it? Did she buy it? So did Hildy show you the place? Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> I can't believe you're gonna ask Monica to marry you. Wait, really? No way. 
That's how they're gonna end this? That's crazy. I did not expect that twist at all. And that guy over there wants some biscotti. Shove it! Sorry. <laughs> Do you still work here? <laughs> you forgot to quit, didn't you? No, I quit a long time ago. Did I forget to tell you that? I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. I was gonna fire you anyway. Great! You couldn't with Rachel, bro. I love that Joey just forgot to quit, though. That's pretty legendary. I wish I had done that. All right, so that is Friends, Season 6, Episodes 21 and 22. Man. Two excellent, excellent episodes. I really, really like them for a lot of different reasons. I already was a big fan of these episodes just first and foremost because we had Bruce Willis guest star for not just one episode of Friends, two episodes of Friends. And... This is going to be so hard because we've had so many guest appearances slash cameos in Friends so far, but Bruce Willis is definitely at the top of my list for one of the main contenders. It, can he beat angry, furious Ben Stiller? I don't know. I, I'd have to go back and rewatch those episodes because I really thought those were amazing, but he was so, so good. Just really, really good casting, in my opinion, uh, for a celebrity to play Elizabeth's father. Like, Bruce Willis, perfect, right? Kind of the right age, really the right look, and also has that intimidation factor along with the star power and the charisma. Just, it reminded me a little bit of the casting of Reese Witherspoon as Rachel's sister, because I really like that, because it's believable, and it's not, it's, it's something, it's, it works on a level beyond the fact that, like, oh, this is a famous person who it's a fun, you know, to see in the universe of friends right i really just enjoyed his his arc you know obviously you know we see ross super nervous to meet the father and then bruce willis because he's bruce willis you know just believably like the cool older guy who kind of impresses phoebe monica and rachel and then ultimately the fact that rachel hit it off so much with him that they actually started going out together that's something i didn't expect but in episode 21 i thought that dinner sequence worked so so well because you know kind of the giant elephant in the room Room is Ross's <laughs> marriages and divorces, right? In any dating situation. But just the way that that conversation unfolded where Ross ends up accidentally kind of talking about his own wedding, I just thought the writing in that scene was so good because obviously the writers realized there was a lot of humor in, you know, a stranger, especially a strange father figure. Uh, not father figure, a literal father, uh, but finding out how many weddings and divorces Ross had been through. But the way that that scene was written felt so organic. You know, the fact that the first time was brought up was Ross trying to dig himself out of a hole of, you know, speaking in kind of an awkward way about like, oh, I do that too with my son, Ben. And then the timing with Rachel coming back to then talk about their relationship, like that miscommunication, it was just, it was so perfect to me like it really is just one of the strengths that i think the good episodes of friends have where the jokes land but the jokes feel organic and don't feel forced which makes them land even stronger and then in episode 22 i was so happy to see bruce willis come back for a second episode kind of continuing this storyline which like i said i really didn't think this storyline would continue but then we have you know bruce willis just a great kind of confusion and hiding situation in the cabin with Ross and Elizabeth obviously trying to get some alone time and then Bruce Willis and Rachel trying to get some alone time and just that was just so so funny like I said can you literally imagine like at least for me you know if I think that I'm by myself or just one-on-one -on -one with someone and then someone else shows up that's gonna be kind of a shocking thing right you're just unexpected right but can you imagine just being on a date in like a secluded area you know and then you reach down and underneath the sofa you just see the terrified face of one of your friends I mean that is just gold that's so funny and crazy to me and of course you know I, I like all the dodges that they have but then what I really really liked about the storyline is the scene where Bruce Willis goes into his bedroom on his own and Ross kind of witnesses his self-talk and I just I admire that so much because Bruce Willis having a, a little appearance here uh, was already special and cool but then it just I, I love when an, a star who is actually cool like Bruce Willis and their persona is one of bravado and just the uh, um, you know a lot of like masculine energy and appeal you know for him to show up in a comedy show like this and then have that type of scene where it just is making fun of himself and his own character 
I, I just really, really appreciate it. It shows that the actor doesn't take themselves too seriously and is all about making the audience laugh. And it was a really funny moment. And then it did end up saving Ross in the end, right? Where it's like, and there's some truth to that too, right? If someone sees you do something embarrassing, there's a special connection there on a certain level. I, I don't even know how to describe it. I feel like as a guy, it's just something I could understand. Like I could understand that that was actually something that helped him be okay with Ross dating his own daughter, if that makes sense. And regardless whether it's realistic or not, I mean, obviously these situations are so exaggerated and, you know, designed to be funny and ridiculous, but I did think it worked from just a humor level and really made a memorable, you know, guest appearance for Bruce Willis. So well, well, well done with that. I thought that storyline was really knocked out of the park for both episodes. And then of course we get to see a glimpse of Joey doing well on the set of mac and cheese he has a little tension with the robot at the beginning but they work things out by the end it is always nice to see joey's agent because she is so horrible in an amazing way i love the fact that joey gets a warning from her only because she has no idea that he himself has gotten the lead role in mac and cheese i mean that if that's not amazing, I don't know what is, but it's always nice to see uh, an appearance from her. And then in episode 21, we had, you know, a little bit of arguments going on between Chandler and Monica. You know, nothing huge, just some of that normal bickering that can happen when you've been together with someone for a while. But um, it didn't help either that Phoebe was sitting there writing down her fictional story that was uh, largely non-fiction. But I thought that was kind of an interesting setup to then be continued in episode 22 where we have that confusion with Monica kind of putting the names in for the museum, which, by the way, would someone want a wedding in a museum? I guess, like, museums can be very nice, but let me know in the comments down below. My initial instinct is, eh, no. I don't think I would do it. I'm assuming that would be charged a lot of money. And just, to me, you know, I, I'm more of the relaxed, fun wedding vibe over the really formal, expensive, fancy wedding vibe that's just my kind of experience in weddings those tend to be a lot more fun the first rather than the second of those two plus a lot less expensive as well but but let me know like has anyone been married in a museum and would recommend it or even if you wouldn't recommend it let me know your experience about getting married in a museum and maybe you haven't gotten married in a museum but you want to i'd love to hear your reasons why and just your thought process because it's not something i've really thought about much but not to get sidetracked here monica and chandler that's a nice little confusion right and then we see chandler it's like oh of course he's panicking because chandler and his history and his issues with commitment although i was thinking like well he already did propose, so I think Monica is kind of an exception. I mean, like many things, I think Monica has been able to bring out really the best parts of Chandler and things that he struggled with in other relationships and while being single. He doesn't seem to struggle with that much with Monica, which I think can actually happen in a realistic way when you find the person who is right for you. But understandably still, you know, he kind of panics. He's, you know, just finding out that you're getting married when you had no clue. You know, I, I do understand how that could be a little bit strange, but um, the the ending of that was, was a big surprise for me. Um, and it makes me wonder if that's what's going to happen. I mean, we're approaching the end of the season. I've been wondering what the big event is going to be. Maybe the big event is going to be Monica and Chandler getting married, which would be a very sweet and heartwarming ending. I mean, I'm so, so happy for them and for them to kind of go to the next step would just be awesome. It just, it would be so, it would mean so much to Monica and it would also be such a big step for Chandler as well. I just, I, I would be so proud of them, honestly, if they, if that's how they end up this season. But, but I like that. I like how that was a nice kind of twist ending there where Chandler is keeping it a secret to surprise Monica with Phoebe. Phoebe's help. We'll see. Will, will Phoebe be able to keep it a secret or will she let it slip? And is she the only co-conspirator that Chandler has or did he tell somebody else? Like, is it going to be everyone else knows beforehand but, um, and then it's a surprise for Monica? I don't know, but I'm excited to see, you know, how that all unfolds in the next three episodes here. But as always, you want to watch the full unedited reaction along with the season finale and episodes of season seven. That's all up on Patreon for early access if you care to support the channel. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, remember, be active, be mindful, and be a hero.